Hi everyone and welcome back to Fallout and welcome to the Boneyard or Aditum where we are at the minute which is part of the Boneyard. So we've already spoken to the guard, we're working our way through to this building to speak to someone named Zimmerman. Claims to be the mayor of the town and the guards told us that we've got a job that he wants us to do. The blades are the worst of all the gangs and something to do with their children. What do you mean prey on us? The regulators keep them from attacking us outright but it's all they can do to keep up our little community safe. They try to sneak in at night to kill our citizens. Just last week one of them burst through the north gate in the middle of the night with dynamite strapped to his body to blow up the regulators barracks. No doubt to try and weaken us to launch a full scale attack. The regulators managed to kill him before he could complete his plan. They'll give us 2,000 caps to kill the leader. I want that bitch's head. Finally, my son will be avenged. Little clue there as to what this woman's done. Murdered his son. So, we head out. And we head over to this little tent. First off. And we speak to a man named Chuck. Who is a farmer, but also on the side does some work restoring buildings, keeping them intact, and gives advice with tarot cards. Pulls a tarot card with a picture of a radio tower, a card with a picture of a man in a suit with a scepter. And gives us some unusual advice. Good journeys, Wanderer. Now, I've tried to speak to that guy a few times because he's meant to give you one additional look, but it never worked whenever I tried to speak to him after that, so I'm not too sure what I've done wrong there. But we find ourselves now at the home of the Blades, and we pick up with the lady we've been sent to kill, who goes absolutely berserk when we try to tell her what we're doing, as you'd imagine, to be honest, as we, we all would. Now I've skipped through the dialogue a little bit quickly here because I did this about five times because I meant to get a disc from her and it, she never ever gave it to me. So I've slowed down here at this point to try and figure out what option I need to use. We need to get weapons from the gun runners. Initially I clicked I'll take care of the regulators myself but if I click on there about the gun runners she finally gives me the holodisc that we actually need now. So still going to take care of the regulators myself. It's all a setup, basically, is what she was saying in the previous dialogue. She didn't kill Zimmerman's son. The regulators did, allegedly. So we go back to Zimmerman and give him the evidence. And he realises what's happened. And immediately, the regulators turn on him. And we find ourselves now in a fight against the regulators. Ian has been knocked to the ground here and that final gunshot you heard was Ian unfortunately being killed while Dogmeat and I were trapped in this building dealing with the other regulators. I wasn't crazy about Ian as a companion to be fair, just went around kicking everybody, didn't do very much damage and was as much of a risk to me as he was to other people. <laughs> As we take out the regulators here one by one, I've had to shoot with dog unfortunately, which is absolutely horrible. This person falls here. Dog meat takes this lady out. And the final regulator is down. The people are happy. Welcome to New Additum. Additum will be the town we want it to be. Thank you for getting rid of the regulators. Everyone's happy. It's time to head back over to the nightclub. Let the lady know we've done it. The Blades and I can't thank you enough, and we get ready to leave the club. On our way out, we speak to the bouncer, who's happy to see us, and gives us a couple of tips on fighting stances, hand-to-hand -hand combat. There we go, quick learner, off we go. 
time now to head to the east or to where the warehouses are and where some pretty serious enemies wait for us on our way to find the gun runners. We head out past the cars. I'm trying to see if there's any way that dog meat can be asked to stay at this point. I want to try and keep him safe from what's about to come. But he follows us anyway. And as you can see, in this warehouse district, it's death claws. Not one, but two. And I'm worried for, <laughs> worried for dog meat safety here. So, time just to get straight to it. Get burst on the assault rifle and start peppering this guy with shots here. Dog meat getting straight in. But we very, very quickly run out of ammo in this gun. I'm knocked to the ground. Like I'm absolutely nothing. Quick reload. And away we go. Out of action points again, as always. These death claws just are sponges for bullets. Finally, that one goes. Multiple shots. Full reload. Looking if there's any way I can flank it. We just head straight into the building. Waiting to see where it's going to jump out at us. We can hear it. Horrible growl. And there it is. More burst shots. Dog meat doing his best, bless him. <laughs> Knocking us to the ground. Luckily, the hits aren't doing much damage to me. Which is the main thing. Out of ammo yet again. My health is draining. Desperately trying to take this thing down here. And finally, this one goes down too. We get ready to go down into the basement and see what awaits us here and as we can see we've got the mother deathclaw here surrounded by all of her eggs and she is the hardest fight in the game and this is not going to be slowed down so you can see just how hard she is and how many shots it actually takes to kill this mama deathclaw Thank <laughs> you. 
And there we go, I think getting on for about six minutes there, <laughs> it took many stim packs, lots of ammo, lots of worry for dog meat as well. Taking a few more stim packs here, just to up my health, putting one in my hands, getting ready to give that to dog meat too, make sure that he's okay, if he'll stand still long enough. There we go. And now we need to go and take out the eggs, make sure that nothing hatches and we can rid this town or this whole area of Deathclaws. 
we quickly one by one take these eggs out very difficult to miss hopefully not miss any shots here <laughs> easy done sometimes with this fat system but should do it oh there we go <laughs> missed 95 percent chance still missed it and that is the eggs done gone as we head back up to the surface here we head over to this dead merchant who didn't make it through the death claw run we go over check him for loot he's carrying some junk nothing else on him but we can finally safely get through the warehouse area continue on eastwards and make our way over to what is the gun runners building surrounded by radioactive waste people clearly have tried and failed to get through looking at the bodies in the middle of it but we head over to speak to the guy guarding the bridge and we'll let him know that we want to buy some weapons and he's more than happy to let us through we holster make sure we're not gonna go up against a bunch of people armed to the teeth and make our way over to the front door we finally get through trying to figure out who's in charge here guessing it must be this person and we speak with the leader of the gun runners here and let them know that we've killed all the death claws, even all the damn eggs. This guy is shocked. Thank the gods. Now we can move to where we can get our own materials and not have to rely on the likes of Aditum. Take whatever you want. We're pulling it over here in a day or two. We'll leave more weapons and ammo than you can carry right now. So we get ready to go and loot these lockers and see what we can take. We've got a thousand XP as well for taking out the death claws. Someone's saying, I hate this job. I feel you, my man. And what we get here is a plasma pistol, plasma rifle, plenty of ammo as well, fusion cells, energy cells. So we obviously take practically everything we can carry here. Leave the rocket launcher, leave the power fist and the ripper, take the stim packs, obviously. But the main thing is there, I've got a plasma rifle, which is pretty lethal in this game. And as we leave with all of our weapons and ammo, we bump into someone called Miles. He's a chemist, makes primer and powder, so we can use the brass casings from bullets. Also dabble with some other chemicals. So because we've got a decent science skill, we can mention about sulfur, potassium, nitrate and other chemicals, and that impresses him. And he cultivates fungus. Smitty casts the bullets, he refills the brass casings. The hydroponic farms aren't functioning, we have to buy food from the merchants. I could try to get the parts from the hydroponic farms. That's wonderful, we're just missing a few parts. I'm sure you could scrounge up the right pieces. And it just so happens that the merchant that we found in the area previously had all the parts that we need. And there we go, <laughs> nice and quick, nice and easy. Nice the hydroponic farms fixed for this town. We head on out over to the other repairman who's gonna help fix everything up for us here. Nobody's even bothered cleaning up all the bodies that are littering the town. A fella named Smitty, tell him we need to fix these parts up. Give him some time and there we go, done, just like that. Dash back over to Miles. You'd think he could have come with us for that short walk, to be fair. Just stood there waiting for us. <laughs> Give him the parts. Thanks for your help. Here's some stuff for your trouble. Caps and stim packs, which is great. Turns out Smitty might be able to help adjust some of our weapons and armour. That is, of course, something that we want. If we can get our armour better, if we can get our weapons more lethal 
mentions about power armor here. I've heard of a chemical process I could use to harden the surface of the power armor. Speak to Mrs. Stapleton in the hub. The librarian. Sounds good. I'll speak to Mrs. Stapleton. So, off we go. Ready to go back to the hub one last time. And we start running out of here. Getting ready to leave. And here we are in the library asking for a set of chemistry journals. 750 books. Worth its weight in gold, no doubt. Was going to see if she had anything else in stock. But for all the books that I've read and bought now, just seems a bit pointless really. Our skills are already pretty high. So we leave and we get back over to Aditum. Speaking to Miles again. Let him know that we've got the chemistry books here. Needs to have a read through. Let's wait a little while and here we go. We've now got the strongest armour in the game made more strong by the hardened coating that we've got on it. So officially the best armour in the game now. But there's one more thing that we can do with our plasma rifle. And if we had an out back over to Smitty. He will let us know what he can do for us. Turns out he knows a few tricks with injectors in plasma rifles. Just so happened to have one. He starts playing around with it. And there we go. We've got a new and improved plasma rifle ready to take on the mutant army. So we gear up. We need to head on over to the Brotherhood to get their support. And then we can look to finally take on the mutant army in the military base. And that is where you'll find us in the next episode. So as always, please like, please subscribe. And guys, I'll see you all in the next one.